everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing another rundown of perfumes that have been recently discontinued I've done a couple of these videos in the past and I know you guys really appreciate them so I'm going to be letting you know which ones have been discontinued recently and where you can still get them if they're still available. If you are new here, then hello, welcome. We are all about perfumes. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos all about different ranges, new releases, and of course my other discontinued perfume videos. So I'll leave those linked down below. And if you're a regular, do check to see if you're subscribed, turn on notifications and give the video a thumbs up. That really helps me. And like I said, I will try and find um, if these are still available on any websites and leave the links down below for UK, Europe, North America, and maybe Australia where I can find them. So the first one and definitely the one that I am the most sad about is Gucci Flora. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll probably know that this is one of my favorite perfumes. It's a gorgeous osmanthus, orangey scent, which I always get complimented on when I wear it. And it's just perfect and there's nothing else that smells anything like this. I had a feeling it was going to get discontinued because they've um, been releasing all these different versions and now they've got this Gucci Gardenia, uh, Glorious Gardenia with Miley Cyrus, totally different bottle, really pushing that and I knew this was going to happen and it has now happened, it's off their website. I just got this brand new one from Natino, so if they still have any left, I'll leave that link down below. I also noticed there are some still on Amazon, but it's just the most perfect scent. It has actually given me an idea, and um, you'll probably see that I am releasing my own fragrance, and part of that that I'm releasing, um, it's gonna be called Empress, and part of that is inspired by Miss Dior Cherie, which was like discontinued like over 10 years ago. So if it goes well and I make another one, then maybe this next one could have a bit of inspiration on um, Gucci Flora. So we have a replacement for when these are totally gone. But yep, it just arrived, beautiful packaging beautiful scent. I'm so gutted it's gone. You might have seen my video on the latest release from Ellie Saab, their Girl of Now Lovely. Their older release, Girl of Now Shine, has been discontinued. So they just have the original Girl of Now, Girl of Now Forever, and now this new Girl of Now Lovely. But Girl of Now Shine, which was the second one that came out, and this one has some pineapple in, this is discontinued. So it's coming off a lot of websites. It's not available everywhere anymore. But if you are a fan of pineapple and you like the um, signature girl of now scent, which is quite almondy, um, then maybe get this before it disappears forever. It's the one that has the gold leaf, gold packaging, um, yeah, gone. So one of my favorite ranges for the summertime are the Bulgari Omnia fragrances that come in these style bottles and there's been a lot of different versions of these I've noticed this year there are now only three which they make so they're making still Omnia Coral which I have um, they're still making Omnia Crystalline that classic Lotus one I have a video on these by the way that explains what they all smell like but Omnia Pink Sapphire um, the Pomelo super fresh one that's discontinued, as is Omnia Citrine, the yellow one, which was a mimosa scent. I actually really loved the, the um, this one, which was passion fruit, Pariba, and um, this got discontinued ages ago. Um, but yes, if I can find these still, I'll leave the links, but you're now just looking at the red one, the amethyst one, and the coral one. Pink one, yellow one, gone. You might have seen my video on the new Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle Fleur um, Terrible that's come out. Um, but while I was um, looking up that, I noticed that the classic cabaret fragrance is discontinued. Um, all there is now is their original Jean-Paul Gaultier classic in an Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum version. And then you've got these new La Belle perfumes, but the cabaret one, which was um, a bit orange blossomy, I, I quite liked it I thought it was really modern I thought it was gonna stay as a permanent part of the line that is now gone and I do have an article that goes through every version of the Jean-Paul Gaultier classic and La Belle fragrances I'll leave it linked down below also on Bulgari I should say that um, if you're fans of Jasmine Noir that is still 
in existence, as is the Magnolia um, take on that. But all other versions, the Mon Jasmine Noir, all of those gone, and like the Patchouli one is finished. It's literally, they only have two just um, Jasmine Noir and Magnolia, and that's it. All the other ones, they have so many different ones, like white ones, yeah, all gone. From Jimmy Chu, so um, you guys know Jimmy Chu Eau de Parfum is like one of my favorite perfumes, um, but they have so many different fragrances in the range. And one that, um, two actually, Jimmy Chu Flash and Jimmy Chu Illicit, um, which have been out for quite a while now, like over 10 years, about 10 years. Um, and I was surprised that they were still around. They have now been discontinued. They're not on the Jimmy Choo website anymore. So that means we just have the, their new I Want Chu fragrance, the Jimmy Choo Eau de Parfum, Eau de Toilette, Jimmy Choo Low, Jimmy Choo Floral um, are still there as well. I love Jimmy Choo Floral for the spring, summer, but um, Flash and Illicit are gone. And I always used to recommend those two as really affordable fragrances for gifts because they're like sparkly and nice and it's Jimmy Choo but they can usually be found for like 20 something 30 pounds and um, so yes if they're still around I'll link them below. I can't remember if I've mentioned this before or not but Black Opium Floral Shock which is actually my favorite version of Black Opium. It has that signature Black Opium warm coffee um scent but it has obviously a floral vibe and a sort of pear vibes it's a bit fresher it's a bit more feminine better for the daytime than the original black opium this is discontinued so those are all the latest discontinued ones that i'm aware of and um, let me know if you have any questions about any other um, perfumes whether they've been discontinued let me know in the comments down below and that but that's it guys so thank you so much for watching as always and i will see you in the next video Bye.